Okay, welcome to the Lang's Invitational pregame show brought to you by RTR Bowling on the YouTube channel. Uh, tonight's product showcases the all new Storm Supernova in the great green and blue cover. Uh, color coordination there, very nice. Beautiful new ball, uh, probably in line to replace the Proton Physics. Uh, if you're looking for a Storm Supernova, come see us at Custom Profit. We'll fit you up for new Storm Supernova. Okay? Uh, Tonight's sponsors, in light of last week's uh, interesting events toward the end of last night's bowling, uh, we got some good sponsors for tonight. Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Big Mouth Ringwear Gloves, and No Collapse Trash Cans. Those are your sponsors for this evening. Uh, thank you for them for uh, supporting our channel. Uh, also, very nice to see that Jack Barry is earning his salary. So good to see that. Hopefully, Jack will continue to. Uh, uh, keep the peace um, out there in the lanes. All right, excellent. Okay, on to our next segment, the recap from last week. Feature match, uh, enjoying the ride, taking on Stay Tuned, enjoying the ride, beat them 3-1, 30-88 to 29-76. A little bit of a rock fight. Uh, Chris Baker was the star. Uh, 7-26 led his team to the 3-1 victory, moving them into first place by themselves at 19-5. So good week for enjoying the ride, and now they are uh, in the bird dog seat. The stars of the week, Bob Malewin, 300 game from him last week. Good bowling by Bob. Uh, Nathan Abdel, 299, 731 from him. Big week for him. Uh, Tim Gagney was uh, 279, 790. That led the league in scoring, uh, 790 from him. Uh, Josh Corm, 278, 789. Excellent bowling by Josh. Uh, a couple of big time scores there. Uh, and, a, and a bit of a high scoring week. Okay, the standings after last week's uh, big win. Enjoying the ride, I've been, is your leader, 19 and five on the season. There's a three-way tie for second right now. Chico's Bail Bonds, Digi Bowlers, and We Them Boys all standing 17 and five. That second, third, and fourth, uh, a tie for second place. Those are your top four teams in the league currently uh, in the standings after six weeks. Okay, this week's uh, feature match. Uh, again, enjoying the ride. This is the third time as a feature match for them. Uh, they are the league leaders, obviously, again, at 19-5. and five. They're taking on Team 16, Half-Baked. Again, Half-Baked was a great team last year. They were in uh, contention for both halves. They're currently 15-9, and nine, just four games out. Uh, those guys will be doing battle tonight. Uh, Brian Pike, Charlie Savasta, Mike Casava, Mike, uh, Chris Baker, and Jimmy Savasta. That's your enjoying the ride lineup uh, for the... 16, Half-Baked Team, Van Ong, Kyle Cookson, Matt Heider, Dan Vincent, and then in the fifth bowler uh, is either going to be Paul Pusateri or Jackson Payne. I know Jackson has been filling in. Paul's been injured. Uh, I think Paul's going to give it a run this, this week, so he could be back in that team. I think Dan will probably still uh, go as the anchor for that group, uh, but that is your feature match for tonight. Um, obviously, Jimmy Sebastian, 242. Uh, taking on Dan Vincent, who's 219. A little bit of a down start for him. He had a great year last year and the year before, so should be an interesting matchup. Uh, and that is your first place team taking on uh, a team four games back. Okay, now moving on to our optional singles leagues. Uh, we have both a handicap and a scratch singles league this year. Uh, very nice uh, to have both of those and uh, a very good turnout for both. I believe there's uh, over 50 people in the scratch singles, and there's over 100 people in the handicap singles. So that's an excellent turnout and should make for a very interesting uh, added storyline throughout the year. Okay, the singles scratch standings. Carly has Tim Gagney and some guy named Rich Getz, some house hack. Uh, Carly at 22 and 2, those are your leaders in the scratch singles. Uh, there are three guys at 20 and 4 Troy Bouchard, uh, Dave Paquin, and Victor Gomez Jr., those guys are all 20 and 4. Uh, and that's your top five in the Scratch Singles League. Uh, in the Handicap Singles, 22-2 and two is leading the league in that as well. Uh, and again, uh, some house hack named Rich Getz. And Jimmy Sebastian, who obviously is having a great year uh, and bowling very well and obviously one of the better bowls in the state. So those two guys are 22-2. and two. And then there are, uh, also is Lance Outland, who I believe is only bowled one week, but his subs have been bowling pretty well for him uh, as well to get him a 22-2 and two on the year. Uh, there are six people bowling who are tied at 20 and 4. 
Uh, so that's your nine people in the handicap singles. The top nine uh, are 22 and two for the top three and 20 and four for the next six. So pretty tight standings there in the handicap uh, and a pretty good uh, start for the scratch singles. Again, uh, 50 people in the scratch singles and over 100 in the handicap singles uh, with uh, a third of the field, I believe, getting paid in both. Okay. Okay, on to our next segment is the poll question of the week. Now, last week's uh, poll question of the week winner uh, was none other than my teammate, Jerry, the Sandman Gent. So, Jerry, you have a, a brand new Lang's pen uh, that I will deliver personally and congratulate you. Uh, maybe I'll even get it on tape. Uh, so you are the now the new winner and the proud owner of a brand new custom Langs pen. Uh, this week's poll question of the week, and we would like you to comment on our YouTube video here. Uh, we'd like to get some more comments. So question of the week, simply, who will win this year's high average uh, title? Uh, last year, obviously, Jalen Scott Jones was your winner in the high average, but I don't believe Jalen will be bowling full time this year. So uh, who do you think will win this year's high average uh, title? for the Lions Invitational League. That is your poll question of the week. And again, uh, unless I can come up with a better prize, the winner will receive one of these beautiful, custom-made, um, highly rare, very desirable, Lang's Bolorama pens, okay? In the custom orange and blue, okay? So your poll question of the week, uh, who will be this year's high average title winner uh, in the Lang's Invitational League? Okay, before we go, we'd like to thank our sponsors, our, our friends, and our affiliates. Uh, first of all, thanks to Storm for providing this wonderful, beautiful Storm Supernova as our product showcase for this evening. We'd like to thank Custom ProFit, Ripping the Rack, uh, Bolify, TurretBowl.com, and Lang's Bowlorama uh, for being our sponsors, for being our uh, affiliates and our friends, and also for tonight's sponsors, brought to you by Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Big mouth ring wear gloves and no collapse trash cans, uh, obviously uh, for helping us out and for keeping us in enough budget to afford these wonderful prizes for comments of the week and, and more. Hopefully we'll bring you some more stuff next week. Uh, until then, good luck, good bowling, and see you in the lanes on Wednesday.